tune a guitar and how all that works. So I thought I'd go into it a little bit here on the board and discuss what's really going on there. Um, when you pluck the string, it vibrates, right? I mean, we all know that. But you take, take the guitar, you pluck the string, it vibrates. But let's examine that a little more closely in terms of the science behind it, the physics here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, this dashed line that I'm drawing here on the board represents your string at rest. It's not moving yet. Okay, it's just sitting there. It's not making any sound. When you pluck the string, your string is going to swing over to one side, come back through the center, and swing back to the other side and come back to the place where it started. So from here to here, swings over one side, swings to the back side, and lands right there. In the world of science, they call this one cycle. One cycle. And of course, your string doesn't just go whoop and then stop, right? It continues to vibrate. So, once again, in the world of science, the world of physics, we talk about the number of cycles per second number of cycles per second, and that equals a thing called Hertz. Okay, abbreviated HZ. Hertz is the name of the scientist that kind of formulated all this uh, rigmarole, okay? So you've probably heard Hertz referred to in, in terms of computers, you know, our, my phone, 1.8 gigahertz processor and that kind of stuff. That's what they're talking about. The number of times, the number of vibrations that go on per second is the number of hertz. In music, there's a, the, a reference. It's called Concert A. Concert A, which refers to the note A. And that vibrates 440 times per second, or 440 hertz. Okay? That concert A is the reference. And you'll see it on electronic tuners and things like that. You know, a lot of the tuners will give you the ability to move that reference around a little bit. For those of you that are more advanced, I know there's a big debate about whether it should be 432 or whatever, um, and that the, the Nazis took over and created 440 back in the 40s or wherever it was, 30s. Um, whatever, I mean, I don't really, it, 440 is the reference that everybody uses. That note is an A note. It's this one. I don't know if you can hear it on that guitar over here. That's 440 hertz, okay? And if you take a tuner, like here is a little Korg electronic tuner, and you can see right up there, 440 HZ, 440 Hertz, okay? And if I put on the tone, that's that A note. You hear it buzzing there? That guitar buzzing. Okay, that's A440. And that is the uh, reference that we all use uh, when tuning guitars, okay? So, how do you do that? Well, in this case, in this tuner, um, it'll tell you if the note is below or above the note that you're trying to reach. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're going to turn on this tuner, this little Korg CA30 tuner, and I'm going to play a note. And for whatever reason, I'm not seeing the display. There we go. And it's telling me that it's a little sharp. This note should be an E. As a matter of fact, the notes on the guitar go E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, so this E down here is the low E. Think of that as Elvis. Elvis always drinks Gatorade before exercising. E, A, D, G, B, E. 
So when we plug in our tuner and we play that note, so I played the B by mistake, it tells me that it's a little high. So if it's a little high, then that means I need to take the tension off. And you can hear the pitch go down. Now it's below the note, which is where we want to be. And we'll come back up to that pitch. And I think the battery's dying in this one. Excellent. So that, anyway, that's how you use one of those. And somebody else had raised the uh, issue with me about uh, a tuner app um, that you can get for free, I believe. I don't believe it costs anything. I think it's a free app um, for a cell phone uh, called Guitar Tuna. It's this app right here. And it brings up the Guitar Tuna app. And can you see that okay? Maybe. See it better now. There we go. So when I play the E, it says I got it. Now the B is a little high, a little sharp. So I'm going to bring it down under. So there you have it guys, I like it just fine. Later. So anyway, there you have it, both uh, using the Guitar Tuna app uh, that you can download for your uh, phone. Yeah, there we go. So you can use the Guitar Tuna app, download it to your phone, or you can use uh, one of, you can buy one of those little uh, tuners. Um, and you may have noticed when I, the, I tuned the first note with the chord tuner and when I uh, turned on the uh, um, Guitar Tuna app that it said also said that that note was in tune. I, I have not, and I've not been doing this for so many years, it's not funny. And I believe that Guitar Tuna app is just as accurate in any, as any of these little tuners. Um, it's entirely up to you. Uh, I, before there was an app for the cell phone is when I bought uh, the tuners that I have, so uh, whatever. Uh, so since I have them laying around, I use them. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's what's up with tuning your guitar. Uh, Elvis always drinks Gatorade before exercising. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comments section below. Up there is my ugly mug. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.